Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sinister Steve Reynolds, episode number six of the Chronicles. And folks, it's time for our Raw debut. Here we are with Stephanie McMahon, the, uh, the, the queen of all MILFs, in my opinion. Hey, you're the newcomer. If no one's officially welcomed you to Raw yet, let me be the first. Keep your nose clean, understand how things work, which you seem to, and I think you'll find a good home here. Yeah, you get those bad boys out. I'll have a good time here, love. That's what you're looking for, right? Um... Uh, I've got my eyes set higher on your boobs. No, that wouldn't be right. Um, I think we should go exactly. So, right. Uh, it's exactly as you say. I'm here for keeps. This is a good place to stay. Why have they got their logo on the inside of their door? Oh, she's getting angry. Look at that nose. Yeah? Well, don't get complacent. Those that think they're here to stay tend to stay on the bottom. She's getting really angry now. It's turning me on and I don't know why. And I think you can guess where they eventually go. TNA? You're misunderstanding me, motherfucker. I'm, I'm adding my own dialogue now, by the way, just to just to kind of hype out more. I, I think he's the kind of person that would swear at women. No, I understand you perfectly. I'm taking your measure. That's all. Oi, eyes up here, sweetheart. Don't think I don't appreciate it. I do. She's staring at his crotch. What a fucking pervert she is. Glad to hear it. Now, first things first, Samoa Joe is our guy. Really? I thought it was Roman Reigns. Know it, live it, breathe it, and understand that it also means he's a walking target basically at all times. Everyone will want to take a shot. Ooh, maybe I should take a shot. And me, I want to protect my investment. She looks like she's slowly going goth with her eye makeup, doesn't she? Makes sense you've poured a lot of money and time on him. Um, as well as probably flicked your bean to him as well if you love money that much. True, I want to see my return, but don't forget... This is also about the prestige. Something that Sinister Steve Reynolds knows all about. So, okay, right, this is how we're doing. We're not, we're not popularity-wise, we're not that great. Um, we really are not. We need to actually start improving some stuff. I want to be a heel. I want to smash people's faces in. That's that's about it. That That is all I really want. But some of these unlocks are pretty good. So, we're backstage with Todd Mullen now. It's good to have you with us. Welcome aboard. Has she gone over this with you yet? Yep. Once again, the scary facial expressions there from Steve Reynolds. Why would you let this person entertain children? I wouldn't trust him with a pair of scissors. Perfect. So tonight, it's Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins. It's supposed to go off without a hitch, but I have a feeling that's where I come in, folks, if uh, I know wrestling. And I like to think that I do, just a tiny bit. We'd like you to be that hitch. There we go. Right. Who? Uh, I'm guessing we're going to smack St uh, Seth Rollins around a bit. Which is a shame, because I like to let Seth Rollins. Uh, I can't pronounce his name for some reason. Seth Rollins. But, uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'll be whatever you need. Uh, it kind of sounds like I'm pouring myself out now a little bit, but uh, we'll, we'll do it. I'm here to help out whenever, however. Tell me what you need, and it's done. Okay? Uh, it kind of sounds like he used to be a bit of a hitman, just kind of smacking people about with a hammer in, uh, in South London. But still, that'll work. Now, that's a fine attitude. You get how this works. I like it. Oh, I like it. Simply put, Seth Lee wants you to run in on Seth before the match even starts. Oh, come on. You're not even going to give Samoa Joe a chance to do well. You just want me to... Fine. Okay. How you do it is up to you, but don't let it get to your head and go giving a, <laughs> giving a victory dance for the camera. Oi, I'll have you know that Steve Reynolds is a fantastic dancer and we will dance if we need to. This is about Samoa Joe, first and foremost. Keep that in mind, you and me are golden. Right, okay, well, I am a stooge of the authority, it seems. Um, but hey, if they pay Steve money and they give us a chance to have a little wrestle every now and then, then I think that's probably a good job. So here we go, Monday Night Raw. Seth Rollins coming out to the ring. Samoa Joe's not even down yet, so I don't really know what the purpose of this is. But still, nonetheless, burn it down. Here we go. There we go. Oh, he hasn't done the burn it down bit yet. Yeah, this is about a year old, this game. Right, there he is, giving it some with his nice T-shirt. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, some asshole from South London. Excellent stuff. Right, smack him about, Steve. Come on. Oh, my God. We, what did you do? Did you just hug him? Oh, no, it's gone wrong. It's gone horribly wrong. Oh, God, no, on the concrete. Right, get up, Steve. Oh, there we go. That's better. Right. We did have a finisher to use. Oh, we still got a finisher banked. That's fine. We really could do with, like, a steel chair or something like that at the moment. That would be really, really handy. 
Right, come on. Let's ruin this main event on Monday Night Raw. Oh, for fuck's sake. Monday Night Raw has been very bad for quite a long time. And now the, the chance of a decent main event and we are just absolutely fucking ruining it. Yeah, I, I, I think this is the way to go. This will get viewers. <laughs> oh, look, it's that British arsehole ruining Monday Night Raw again. Right, come on. You're being stamped on a hell of a lot now, Steve. And uh, with me knowing so much about wrestling, I know that that's not good. So get up. Get up and just, like, punch him and uh, take that T-shirt because it's nice. There we go. A beautiful kick there to the chest or throat. Hopefully the latter. Right. Rollins has now got a... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Look at that. I was going to bust out as a uh, signature move, but we didn't need to. Oh, God. Here he is. Samoa Joe. Is he going to be happy with that? I admit it. I had my doubts when Stephanie pitched her plan. I'd figured you'd fail hard, but you didn't screw up. Thank you? I, I think... Thank you. I don't know. It kind of sounds like a compliment, but I, I, I don't know. I don't entirely trust this guy. You were really, really adequate. There we go. No, he's a dick. It was an alright performance, I guess. Well, yeah, it was mediocre. Right. Um, what should we do? You would have done the same. Uh, Seth deserved every smack. I don't know if he deserved it, but for the storyline, yes. While I have all respect for Seth Rollins' accomplishments, he deserved each and every smack. That, that, that sounds good. I wish this was going out. This is probably a better promo than most. We could start a stable. Me and Samoa Joe. That would just... I would be coasting on his achievements. I admit it. You don't hold back, do you? No, I realised that when you were out there. Well, give me a metal chair and, you know, I would have shown you some real shit. But apparently I'm not allowed one, so god damn it. I could be the chairman. The chairman of the WWE. That could, that could be good. I might use that as a name. It's a good habit to get into. You must have learned that from me. Talking hard and striking harder. Yeah, I don't get me wrong, you're a good wrestler and all that, Samoa Joe, but I was brought up with, like, Undertaker, Steve Austin, The Rock, you know, British Bulldog, that kind of stuff. It was best. It was the best way to get Seth's face to remember me. Right, well, just be aware that he's got two mates, and three against one is not a sum that we really want to start trying to solve here, Steve. We really don't. They are tough bastards, especially with that triple powerbomb thing. All right, his face might, if he can find it after what I put it through. So... Despite that, they're still going to put Seth Rollins in a match. I love the authority. <laughs> Anyways, stick in my shadow. Don't get in my way. Do whatever I tell you or what Steph tells you. That's all you need to focus on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it says Samoa Joe Company Man at the top there. I'm going to be Steve Reynolds Company Stooge, I think. And this might have to end very soon. I don't think I want to be in anyone else's shadows, but I still want to be a heel. So, okay. Anyway, right, uh, select your answer. How did you become the best? How do I best support the company? How can I beat you? Let's not try to rile up the fat man the best uh, the, uh, to beat him just yet. Right. So, Joe, how, how what? Fire alarm going off or something? I don't know. Listen, I've got people to talk to. Be seeing you. Right, okay, so... We've been on Raw five minutes. I've already attacked someone from behind like a scumbag. And now we're being mugged off by some fat Samoa envelope. So, uh, yeah. I think being mugged off is currently the phrase, really. And I don't know if we can be having that. Although the good thing is, though, I've got exactly the same physique as Samoa Joe. So, maybe there's hope for me yet. So here we go. Second week on Monday Night Raw, January 2019. And uh, hopefully we'll actually get a match. So, uh, my... Uh, my Biscuit Club t-shirt is slowly declining in sales. That's, that's a shame because it's a, it's a cracking old t-shirt, that. Right, who have we got in the back here? Oh, my God. Sin Cara? What are you doing back here, bruv? Aren't you playing games? Oh, no, it's uh, Kalisto, even. Uh, you've got the locker room on tilt after that. No one thinks they can trust you now. Well, you would be absolutely right. You look like my daughter's made you a mask in arts and crafts time at school, motherfucker. Right, raw main objective... Make sure Samoa Joe wins the match. Oh, I'm not going to be a manager, am I? Come on, man. You can feel the electricity. Oh, big old suplex the there from Joe. Is so does, it, does he need my help? I can't help but think he, need, he doesn't really need my help. Beautiful snap mare there. And, yeah, big chop right across the shoulders. Lovely big boot right to the tit there as well. This guy doesn't need my help. He really doesn't. Oh, hang on. All of a sudden, something's happened, and Samoa Joe's on the floor. Gotta love these cutscenes. 
I'm walking like I've shit myself. What the hell's going on? Right, maybe this distraction now will uh, uh, enable a decent attack from behind. There we go. Roll up. Ref, count it. One, two. Ref, you were really bad at counting. You were really slow. Oh, shit. Reversal. One, two. Okay, fine. Right. Now, the only other time that I was ever a manager, I did really badly. And Mickey Cross lost. And oh, my God. Submission. Submission. This is it, surely. The Kahina clutch. Oh, Rollins is gone. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I didn't actually do anything. I don't know if I'm going to get credited for that. But still, Jesus Christ. That was all right. That, 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 that was okay. There we go. Bit of pointing. Yep, yeah, there we go. Just make sure he doesn't eat you. He looks like he's quite hungry. Bloody hell. So, could this be the start of a stable? This could be the start of a stable. I, could, I like this. I like this. The Samoan connection. I just need to find something that makes me Samoan. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, there we go. Rollins wasn't looking. He wasn't looking, and that's it. That's when we strike just for the hell of it. We're just going to start beating him up backstage. There we go. Uh-oh. The chairman. Oh, the chairman's... The, he's holding a meeting, folks. Oh, oh, fuck. Run away. Run away. Oh, no. All right, I keep forgetting. That's, they used to be able to take the chair off you and use it themselves, but it seems like they drop it themselves at the moment. That's fine. Quick. Steve, you really need to get up and grab yourself a chair, son, because we're about to get absolutely molested unless you fucking pick yourself up now, son. Oh, good. There we go. Right. Big old kick to the crotch area. Lovely big double drop kick there. Look at that. Right. Get the chair, Steve. Pick it up and start battering him. There we go. There we go. I'm just kind of... I'm hoping that no one else can come and join this because I'm aware of the whole Dean Ambrose and uh, Roman Reigns connection with this guy. We can't be having that. Right, just just, just don't drop the chair. Just keep just keep smacking him about. It's as simple as that. Put him in fucking hospital. I want this guy in a neck brace, back brace, halo, ankle support, everything. I want him having to use the magic sponge like we've got a football and deep heat. Look at this. It's now spilling out into the hallway. This actually could be classed very soon as a murder, Steve. We need to be careful with this. Oh, cool. Fucking hell. We are just doing absolute bits now with him. I'm surprised he can walk. Oh, my God. Signature. That's it. He's down. He's down. You know what's coming now. Let's let's, let's give him... Oh, my God. We've busted him open. Oh, he's pissing blood all over the carpet. Oh, we're going to have to get a rug doctor from Tesco now. Oh, it's coming. He's feeling it. I think it's time for Brexit. It's time for Brexit. Oh, no. It's just a big hand. What the fuck? Why did I do a Brexit? Oh, three guys have teleported. Uh, two guys have teleported in out of nowhere.